why eventually, when eventually I entered the camp, the first person I saw, I met, was a female who seemed to be wandering dangerously. You know, I couldn't de in, in determine her age. When she saw the Marine David emblems on my uniform, she attempted to throw her arms around me. Her appearance was so repulsive. She was so emaciated that I instinctively stepped back, but immediately regained my blunt balance to prevent her from falling when I tried to sidestep her. She then said to me, Yiddish, I told her I wasn't going to go away from her. As we walked further into the camp, I suddenly froze, for in front of me several people were lying on the, down, on the ground. I asked, why, why were they sleeping there? The girl replied in a tone of voice as if she was referring as if as I, to, to a a heap of cast of uh, dolls. They were dead, sir. Now the spell, which until now appeared to have dumbed all my senses, suddenly broke. And the foul stench of thousands of human bodies So, made me dizzy from that point of view. Within a few more minutes, a group of people looking like a number of bones held together by transparent skin came tottering towards us. I let out a cry, oh my God, the dead are walking. My escort looked at me without the slightest emotion. They are not dead. But soon they will be, and so will we all be dead if more food and medical help are not forthcoming. It was Friday morning. I was in the office in the camp when a knock came at the door. Come in. A middle-aged man, or so he seemed to be, stood hesitantly before me. What do you want? Never can you give me something to eat in the covered shutters? First words, first words, like music to my ears. But aren't they feeding you? The, the shoes, things are going smoother at that time. He says, yes. But it's the first Shabbos I've been free, and I'd like something like covered Shabbos. And it went to the cupboard. I stood on a chair, it was a ladder, and I noticed a couple of tins of sardines. That's all I had at that moment. And I was going to bring down <coughs> two sins of sardines. He said, Varta Madut, Rebbe Varta Madut, Harkei Vega. Wait. He saw the outline of the plush bag which contained my tefillin. I brought them down. He said, I haven't dabbled for three years. Would you, would you care to put them on? I took a sinner. He, it was like this and tears flowing down his face. I couldn't stand it. I gave him to Dublin, and I ran out of the camp, out of the office into the camp.